since we are right after from the college we have that honeymoon period of uh, <laughs> job mil gaya to bhi enjoy karenge chill karenge party karenge yeah. i mean uh, with regards to considering the dynamics inside the company mm-hmm. i know at least i'll sit for another 6 months on bench oh so i was actually expecting that to happen there will be ups and downs in this journey mm-hmm. and then there will be phases where you feel this is not your cup of tea mm-hmm. but you have to stick through this only because you have an aspiration and you have chose to be in this journey by your conscious choice yes Hey hi Akhil first of all uh, thanks for coming i heard about your journey and i really feel it very in- inspiring jo bhi aapke efforts the and jo bhi aapka kiya aapne but jo janta hai usko nahi bataya tha i want you to you know share your engineering journey in, in a few sentences okay uh, hello guys uh, hi kushal uh, it's been really happy to meet you here uh, personally i have been following you since about a year or so in the linkedin so it's been great considering your insights and uh, everything flowing around mm-hmm. so mere engineering journey shuruaat hui delhi mein okay. so i have done my graduation in uh, bennett university okay in the electronics and communication engineering department okay so <laughs> i have uh, done matlab mera graduation 2020 mein khatam ho chuka hai okay and then yeah that's the only thing before get entering into engineering main iit ke liye preparation de raha tha okay okay unfortunately i couldn't make into the cut mm-hmm. but nevertheless i have to move on so i had to get into some but, college but you came across a long way actually main bhi electronics se hu main bhi iit mein nahi ja paya but oh. anyways <laughs> <laughs> so being from ec background i mean everyone who is not from computer science they have an inspiring journey as far as i have seen because i went through that path so how difficult it was for you to switch from a ec background and get in into a software domain or computer science domain mm-hmm. so i mean uh, considering ec branch so mm-hmm. my story was kind of different okay so initially i have joined my engineering in a computer science branch for the first okay. year since it was same for everyone it uh-huh. didn't make any difference for me Fair. but uh, i had an option to get into ec in my second year Okay. So I have uh, spoke with my relatives and then friends and then they were like, you know, go ahead. EC gives you the double edge of you know getting into hardware or software. Mm-hmm. So I was like, huh, why not? Uh, let let me explore the uh, stream that have uh, both options in place. Got it. I have got into the EC branch and then uh, like after the graduation, we we know the COVID era, mm-hmm. right? So I have graduated in twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. so that's where the covid stuck and then the bar for nt into an engineering uh, hardcore ec companies mm-hmm. have become high Fair. so I've directly gone from btech to mtech entry category <laughs> okay. so mujhe to like ye hua ki like what are, what is happening with my life and all the self retrospection we get to have but fortunately i had a backup of a, a computer science job already from a okay. campus placement Okay. So I had sat through for a few companies, and fortunately, I had a backup mm-hmm. that saved my life. <laughs> but then, uh, you know, ki, you know, since you have already been into EC, you wanted to get into EC, but okay. things along those lines. Okay. Uh, but yes, uh, after uh, EC, the struggle was more into how should I upskill myself to mm-hmm. get into the core companies, the product nice. companies, as we aspire to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Akhil, many AB. Jana, I'm curious because seven to eight months, you don't do any work. You are not. You are on the bench. So, how like? what was your thought to say at the time and were you able to upskill yourself or find the right resource or guidance for yourself yeah so i mean it was hard mm-hmm. initially uh, but since we are right after from the college we have that honeymoon period of uh, <laughs> job mil gaya to bhi enjoy karenge chill karenge party karenge uh-huh. but uh, it it lasted only for 3 4 months okay but after that you become serious for life Fair right enough. you have to get your job settlement etc etc the career planning actually kicks in Mm-hmm. so after 3 4 months i was actually pondering upon what are the things i need to look into mm-hmm. because i had a vision i mean uh, with regards to considering the dynamics inside the company mm-hmm. i know at least i'll sit for another 6 months on bench oh okay. so i was actually expecting that to happen okay. so considering that i i thought why not utilize this time to upskill myself with mm-hmm. regards to you know so dsa and mm-hmm. algorithms etc etc mm-hmm. that's when i have self retrospected and then I've started looking for uh, things mm-hmm. that could help me okay. get this career path, you know, mm-hmm. properly set. So, like, how did you explore, and were you able to get to that particular resource that you were looking for? So, quite honestly, there I was super overwhelmed while mm-hmm. I was searching because uh, in this internet era, we have a lot of options <laughs> to actually explore. Correct. But uh, 
I mean, uh, we we know the basic essentials. Like we we can learn from uh, Lead Code. We can learn YouTube. from YouTube. We can learn from Udemy's of the world. Correct. But you expect something more structured, and you expect something more solid enough mm-hmm. that you can always rely on because this has to replace your degree Fair. with regards to your upskillment. So the four years that you always uh, the computer science guys have an edge of three years learning in computer science. Mm-hmm. So in order to for me to beat that at mm-hmm. least to match them, mm-hmm. I need to have some kind of an at least long term journey. So so one ho gaya, two years mm-hmm. ho gaya. Mm-hmm. I have to put myself and invest myself into that. So that was mm-hmm. a tricky challenge altogether. Definitely, you have to have that level of skills that you can match, or at least, or maybe better than those who had that four years of degree in computer science. Mm-hmm. But specifically, what you ended up with. Okay, so uh, one fine day I was looking. Uh, I mean, just like Lead Code, you know, interview bit. Yeah. Right? So uh, I was solving a couple of problems and interviewed. That's when I have seen a scalar ad. Okay. So I thought, what is this? And then uh-huh. we end up exploring the uh, click button, and then yeah. we, we know what happens after that. <laughs> so yes, उसके बाद में I have researched my thing for about one week. कि ये क्या सीन है एंड देन व्हाट आर द स्ट्रक्चर दैट इट हैज व्हाट व्हाट आर द ऑप्शंस और बेनिफिट्स आई गेट व्हाट इज़ द आरओआई Okay. etc etc right that, that is matter, that matters definitely hmm. so once that is done i have uh, spoke to my parents with regards to you know since after the college college itself is a big investment right Very true. so after the college if i have to talk to my parents and then say i have to make another big investment hmm. it's not like very big but you know considering coming from a middle class humble family every expense is something that we always look forward to and Uh, always catered to every penny hmm. right so considering that i have to make a case ki ki why this is much more beneficial to me mm-hmm. compared to my degree hmm. all the parents are very kya bolte pyare enough Support to them. understand everything but you you have to make your case so i was always comparing my uh, scalar roi and benefits with regards to a abroad degree okay. so let's say if i want to aspire for a masters mm-hmm. my budget will shot up like exponentially mm-hmm. right but with the return on investments will be pretty much similar mm-hmm. so i was making that case and they were like ha huh, this makes a lot of <laughs> sense <laughs> so you eventually convinced your parent and then you like ended up with scalar yes that sounds very interesting but how actually scalar helped you land your new job ओके सो स्केलर ने द द एज ऑफ गॉड इज द मेंटर सपोर्ट ओके सो ऑनेस्टली आई एम श्योर यू अग्री टू दिस दैट एवरी वन इन दिस कोडिंग जर्नी और अपस्किलिंग जर्नी विल नीड अ होल्डिंग हैंड डेफिनेटली टू गाइड यू थ्रू द पाथ व्हेन एवर यू आर इन दैट बॉटम पाथ्स और बॉटम जोन्स ऑफ योर कोडिंग जर्नी सो दैट्स वेयर आई फेल्ड मेंटर सपोर्ट इज समथिंग वेरी क्रूशियल टू माय जर्नी एंड देन आई वाज लाइक ओके मेंटर सपोर्ट इज अ वेरी बिग बोनस ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट सिंस आई वाज लुकिंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग टर्म अपस्किलिंग जर्नी स्केलर गेव मी अबाउट आई थिंक 14 टू 15 मंथ्स ऑफ करिकुलम सो दैट्स ऑलमोस्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर सो इट आल्सो मेक्स सेंस लॉजिकली टू थिंक कि हां ओके मेबी आई एम आई एम एबल आई कैन मैच द कंप्यूटर साइंस गाइस आफ्टर बीइंग थ्रू दिस वन एंड वन टू वन एंड हाफ ईयर ऑफ जर्नी सो आई वाज लाइक इट्स अ नो ब्रेनर आफ्टर दैट एंड देन आई हैव क्विकली हॉप्ड इनटू द स्केलर आई मीन एनरोल इनटू द स्केलर विद इन टू वीक्स ओके एंड देन माय जर्नी स्टार्टेड इन 2021 जून Okay, and then when you have when exactly you landed your job? I have landed my job in uh, March 2022. So March. it's about eight months right after I'm into the scaler. Scaler program and like, what is your first feeling when you got the job? I mean, I'm so I'm super happy because I, I don't get only one job. I've ha- I've had five offers in oh, my hands. So that's a very surreal feeling, you know. Obviously, right? So uh, of course there are a lot of contemplations that we do. This is a good job or that is a good <laughs> job. But I'm happy to be on the other side where I get to choose rather than people mm-hmm. choosing me. So the job that you chose finally, if you can tell, or maybe a generic way of what kind of interview questions were being asked across the offers. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, I chose a job in company called Credera, okay. right? So it, my role is basically the SD one kind of a mm. role, and then my interview was mostly around the you know proficiency of testing the Java language, okay? Because they were mm. looking for a Java specific role, okay? And then uh, DSA rounds that that has basically the arrays mm-hmm. and then strings okay. uh, and then linked list and stacks were something that was asked in the interview, not on the screening round. Okay, okay right so i think uh, pretty much about the linear data structures and mm-hmm. couple i didn't get any dynamic programming greedy programs okay. uh, because maybe i'm fortunate <laughs> <laughs> but i think uh, pretty much it sticks around to the linear data structures and okay. then so through that. during all the interviews that you had 
date like which particular data sector was asked more or were there any specific system design questions being asked no since i was in an sd1 category mm-hmm. so system design is something that was completely beyond the scope okay. the, of interviewing okay right so uh, i was never asked a system design question but i have attempted myself to sit for sd2 rounds just to give it a, give it a <laughs> shot but yeah uh, apart from that uh, majority of the questions were revolving around the arrays and then probably stacks is something people are very tricky enough to judge you ha huh? okay mm. whether this guy can solve it or not mm-hmm. and then probably there are couple of trick questions from linkedin so okay. linklist not linkedin linklist <laughs> got it cool amazing talking to you actually and so what would be the last uh, advice that you would like to give to everyone who might be from ec or csc in short like three three points or whatever what would you like to say okay so the first point would be to stick to the journey no matter what Mm-hmm. consistency is the key i'm sure you exactly know what i'm speaking yes and then second thing is uh, there will be ups and downs in this journey mm. and then there will be phases where you feel this is not your cup of tea mm-hmm. but you have to stick through this only because you have an aspiration and you have chose to be in this journey by your conscious choice yes so think along the lines of what are the what is your future will look like if you were to being consistent on this journey mm-hmm. and the third part is you should never stop learning or exploring especially in this category mm-hmm. because coding or programming world is something where it changes very fast like very in fast. a couple of span of years and then you have to be proficient enough with mm-hmm. i don't say proficient or expert in anything but you should be jack of all trades correct so that way you can beat beat the game or you can be on the top of your game and then you will mm-hmm. have an edge over everything that you are aspiring to become fair enough i mean always keep this thing and why you actually started so that you have that motivation exactly so amazing talking to you uh, appreciate your time and uh, hope everyone enjoyed as well if you have any doubts please, please feel free to comment down your questions and uh, you can connect with akhil also i'll mention his uh, linkedin id somewhere around <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much kushal it's been a pleasure talking to you uh, i felt super wholesome listening to your journey as well thank you so much